Thousands of New Mexicans receiving a text message asking about the Senate race. Some say it looks suspicious and questions whether if it's a scam. Tonight in a Target 7 investigation, we learned the texts are legit, but your responses are helping build political attack ads. Here's Cristiano Ramos. You might be one of the thousands of New Mexicans who got this text. I have not opened it up to check it out. Jerry Griego was one of them. But uh, I heard that, there was, that they were sending out a survey. The text is trying to get you to take the quote, short survey on issues important to Albuquerque, and it wants you to click on this link. Some people are reluctant to open the link because they're not sure if it's legitimate or not. KOAT political analyst Brian Sanderoff says the message is legit. So Target 7 decided to open it up to see exactly what quote are the issues that are important to Albuquerque. There were more than 40 questions and nearly all of them centered around the U.S. Senate and presidential races. The questions in the survey itself are relatively balanced. They include if the election were held today, who would you vote for? Have you seen or heard or read anything about Republican Senate candidate Nella Domenici or Democrat Martin Heinrich? And if you think things in New Mexico are going in the right direction? The survey was on the long side and you can only hold respondents attention for so long. Target 7 traced the messages back to this Encino, California company Dynata. Recently, the company had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy but was able to get out of it. According to the Federal Election Commission, Dynata has received payments from Democrat online fundraising site Act Blue, California Democrat Congressman Kevin Mullen, and four years ago, the National Republican Senatorial Committee paid them nearly $80,000 for, quote, polling and survey research. It's clear to me that this survey was commissioned either by one of the Senate candidates or one of the political action committees that supports one of the Senate candidates. The survey also asked people how they feel about negative statements made about each Senate candidate, such as Martin Heinrich voted against a border security measure and Nella Domenici is Mitch McConnell's hand-picked candidate. So they're reading negative messages about the candidates, seeing which are the most persuasive, and then re-asking who would you vote for to see if the negative messages work. Sandoroff says it's likely you'll never see the results or know who actually hired Dynata. So what's the survey going to be used for? Sandoroff said this. Who did Nella Domenici stand with? The Chinese Communist Party. Martin Heinrich's not just wrong, he's dangerous. Negative ads. When we hit the streets to find people who took the survey, that didn't sit well with them. Just a bunch of mudslinging. I wish they would stick to the issues. I wish that they would stick to the facts. Some people we talked to wondered why they got the text and not others. Donata is a company that provides lists of all types to political organizations and commercial entities. So how did they get your information? Sandoroff says it more than likely came from here, Secretary of State's office. By law, anyone can get a voter registration list that includes your address, phone number, and your party affiliation. They can also get the list from the county clerk. The typical is cost per thousand is four dollars per a thousand records. Nathan Jarabio works in the Bernalillo County Clerk's Office. He says people have to fill out this form and pay money to get this list. On the very bottom of the request form, it denotes uh, that they will be only utilizing it for legal purposes. For Target 7, I'm Cristiana Ramos. We contacted Danana for a comment, but we did not get one.